Welcome back everyone to AHSAA TV Weekly. We are joined now by Coach Jared Wooten, head track coach at Realtown High School and sprinter Arthur Woods. Welcome to the program. Thanks, glad to be here. Absolutely. Well guys, I understand that you are experiencing a very successful track season. You also had a successful indoor track season. So coach, first of all, catch me up on what's been going on there at Realtown. Well, uh, I got here a couple of years ago and uh, just kind of inherited this group. Um, Arthur, JJ Kendrick, Sandria Coleman, I got about five or six that were, were really big in the track and uh, really uh, promoted that to some, some of the younger kids that are getting involved now. And they've kind of built this thing up to where it is at this point. So it's a lot of what's happened has been the result of their hard work. Well, Coach, how did your success in the indoor track season, I believe you, you placed really well in the state meet, how did that success contribute to the outdoor track season? Well, with the, the success we've had, it actually goes back to last spring. We finished third at the outdoor championships um, up in Coleman last year, but it's, it's kind of been just uh, one step at a time through the last couple of years, indoor season and outdoor season, uh, you know, we know when, when Arthur shows up, he's going to score points, and we, we've been gradually, you know, those other folks have been developing as well. We're starting to pick up a little bit more uh, points from some other people. Uh, it's also attracted some folks that weren't really participating in track at, um, in the older levels, um, higher levels in the school that since they've gotten involved and started scoring some points, now we're – we're able to put enough up there to to be competitive with some of the schools that maybe have done it longer than we have or have have more. Uh, you know, we don't do um, cross country at all, so our our distance program is kind of behind everybody else. But we've just been able to pull points here and there through our sprints and our field events because we just happen to have some folks that that can really run and. and good natural form with hurdles and things like that. And that's what's kind of built it up. Well, coach, tell me a little bit more about Arthur. Introduce us to him and tell us how he's a leader on and off the track. This guy right here, um, you know, they, I haven't seen anybody else like him. I've been coaching for 26 years and he's humble. He works hard in the weight room. Um, he He's an officer with our FCA, um, got great, academics um and, you know when when you sit down and say okay what do you need to to be a athlete that's going to be successful and have a chance to make it to the next level you know this guy checks every box his his parents have done a great job raising him and his uh brothers and you know it, it's evident that he comes from a high character family but you know, he's one of those guys he don't say a whole lot so you may not get a lot out of him in this interview but when when he goes out, there's no doubt he's out there to win. And most of the time, I don't have to really say too much. I can just say, you know, last last spring, I guess, in the outdoor season, I just walked by and talked to him for a second. And I told him, I said, you know, you've been running about 11-1. I said, you're probably going to have to run a little under 10 today if you want to win this deal. And he went and ran like a 10-95, I think, was his time. And uh, that moved him on to state, and he was able to – uh, he won sectionals and state, and, you know, he's just one of those guys, if you tell him what he needs to do, he goes out and does it. Well, Arthur, I certainly want to hear from you, but first of all, I want to tell everyone that, according to the notes, um, you just clocked a personal best of 10.71 seconds in the 100-meter dash, and I want to kind of put that in perspective for you and then for our viewers also. For those that remember the 100-yard dash, um, Harvey Glantz set a state record in high school um, with – 9.4 seconds in the 100-yard dash. Your time, if converted, would have been 9.81 seconds in the 100-yard dash. And Harvey Glantz, we, the athlete we're talking about, went on to win a gold medal in the Olympics. So you're that close to beating um, a former Olympic gold medalist. I mean, Arthur, do you understand how fast you are and what makes you able to run that fast? Uh, I really don't know. I just go out there and compete because I really like running. And, and I really like competing, but my mindset going into the track meets and stuff, really, if you're not in first, you last. So that's 
what always goes through my head when I run. So. Well, Arthur, Coach mentioned your family. Tell us how important your strong family is to the success that you're seeing on and off the track. They encourage me to keep pushing myself, keep going, and to be as good as I am and to never give up on myself, even if I do lose it. Yeah. Well, Arthur, you were also a big part of Real Town making it to the state football finals in December. So tell us, do you prefer, which, which is better, scoring a touchdown or winning a race? Uh, definitely has to be scoring a touchdown. <laughs> well, Arthur, uh, what are your plans for college? Do you plan to play either of these sports at the next level? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm committed to Huntington right now, but I'm going to try to talk to the coach until they let me do track and field. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, walk us through what you expect for your team the rest of the season. Well, the, the thing that we started out with here and it really hasn't changed, I tell them, you know, that um, we we – we try to build it from a team concept. We know that, I mean, it's awesome when we got guys that are winning first and second place in a lot of these races. And, you know, a lot of times in the 100 meters, uh, you know, we got Arthur first and Tate Martin second. 110 hurdles, we got Arthur first and we got J.J. Kendrick second. So what we are, are working off of there is, you know, we take those points and we tell everybody else, you know, if you're in the top eight, you're going to get at least one point for the team. So everything we can add puts us closer to winning the overall meet. And, you know, we love getting the medals. I mean, it's exciting to see these guys collect all these medals and all that. But ultimately, we're trying to win the state championship. And uh, for us, you know, right now, that means we're chasing Cold Springs. They got a lot of great athletes up there, and, and they do kind of some different things compared to what we do. So – we know we got to be on the top of our game to get every possible point we can. And then, you know, last year we lost sectionals. We lost sectionals by uh, losing the last race of the day in the four by four. So at state, we would have been second uh, last year in outdoor, and we lost that on the last race of the day. So uh, a lot of our off season has been focused on trying to develop people that can push us over the top so that um, we, you know, we, we don't have people in certain events, so we got to make sure we got enough points in the places where we can get those points so that people can't pass us. Um, so uh, luckily at indoor, we were able to pull that off. Um, uh, Coach, Coach Teran Smith is, is my assistant. He and I spent almost an hour and a half over there uh, counting points toward the end of that indoor meet, trying to figure out if anybody was going to be able to catch us or not. So that's pretty nerve wracking as a coach when you're, you're kind of helpless because you got to hope that your points that you scored have, are going to stand up. But it was a huge thing for us because, you know, the, the indoor meet for us, because we're 2A, we're competing 1A through 3A. And so for us to be able to score enough points, and we basically did that with six guys. And to be able to do that, and I think it's a huge achievement for, for our athletes to be able to pull that off. I'm not really sure they all kind of comprehend what a big deal that is, but we we were able to do something that not a lot of people can do. Um, and like I said, if we had the numbers that, that some of the other places have overall, uh, I feel like we can kind of get over that hump. Well, Coach Wooten and Arthur, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. We wish you the best of luck going forward the rest of the season. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly.